We begin in eastern Ukraine, where a major dam in the Kherson region has been destroyed. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the situation. And as you can see, water pouring out from the breach, threatening the lives of thousands of people. Ukrainian officials are planning evacuations and telling residents near the Nova Kakovka Dam to do everything you can to save your life. Right now, both Ukraine and Russia blaming each other for what both describe as a terrorist attack. Let's get you more on these uh, developments that are unfolding uh, right now. Where we're joined by uh, Claire Sebastian in uh, London. Uh, Claire, do we know what caused the breach and can you situate this for us? Where is the dam with respect to the front lines? It's pretty much on the front lines, uh, Leila. It's on the edge of the Dnipro River, just on the southern bank, uh, and it supplies water uh, to the Kherson region and to Russian-occupied Crimea in the south as well as, of course, power uh, from the hydroelectric power plant. It is also south uh, of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which relies on water from its reservoir for cooling, even though, of course, the power plant is right now in various stages uh, of shutdown. So a really critical piece of infrastructure. It has been occupied, though, by Russia since pretty much the beginning of this war.